For a hotly contested first map, we head into Na'Vi's choice of Dust2 with Hard Legion having the one map lead here. But Dust2 is a map that we know Na'Vi love to play, and I'm sure they will be expecting to get the win on this one, Dean. Yeah, for sure. I, I think Na'Vi certainly should be bouncing back with the two remaining maps going in their favor. But you never know, Hard Legion, they impressed us back on Overpass. But Simple, this is already looking better from him. Able to find two initial openings there towards the top of mid. Had Electronic ready as well to follow up. Unfortunately, not quite kick, uh, quick enough to give him the cover as the player moved down true lower. So it is just the trade afterwards. They've given him some room though to Kinky. Obviously, the biggest issue being that bomb is down. But this could allow him to catch a player off guard. But nah. The Glock is just not the ideal weapon for that position. It is all on Sphia. He's not got Kevlar. He's got 25 health, a P250, a smoke, and a flash. And with four opponents against them, this should be Navi taking themselves this opening pistol, which they did find both of back on Overpass, I do believe. Yeah, they've been good at winning the pistol rounds at the very least, if not always following up with the second round conversion. You do oftentimes see the second round full spires come through on Dust 2 as well. You can get the scouts out if you want. And with that kill coming in at the end there, Boomich has secured the round win for Na'Vi. Now we'll see what Hard Legion decide to do though, because they didn't get a bomb plant. They didn't get many kills, but they have decided to commit to the full spy. Krad's got the scout out. Kinky's got a Desert Eagle. We'll see if they can maybe find a bit more success in this round, because they only got the one kill there at the start of this game on their T side pistol. Ooh. Apologies, Saka. I was just checking the, the audio for us for a second. I think it should be better now. I do believe so. I had to I had to unmute because I realized you stopped talking. I didn't actually get you <laughs> talking yet in the stream, but I, I sounded all right anyway. I, that's I the main thing, dude. Right <laughs> as long as you but sound I, all right, that's what everyone wants to hear. We've got a, a force by overall from Hired Legion. Rage not spending everything because he wants to focus on getting the op out in the opening gun round. But overall, they have invested here. They're looking to try and take away as many of these weapons at least or win the round. That is going to be the goals for them. And Electronic is staying very aggressive for the moment. Had some nades from teammates coming in. They didn't do too much damage. And eventually with the smoke now being dropped, they will play a little bit more passively. Krat actually finding Flamey up towards the window. With the smoke going down into the CT spawn, they could go ahead and split on towards B. But for the moment, just going to be slowing it down, waiting to see if Navi actually have a reaction off the back of now losing that player. And with that, potentially giving the Hard Legion the chance to maybe snatch some more even. The issue is they start now moving up towards short. Just as simple, actually pushed out through mid. So he's going to get some information about this. But it still may not be enough. Yeah, this is working well for the Hard Legion here. A couple of headshots get them onto the A-bomb site. Boomich here holding a long with the MP9 the entire time, so he couldn't really fight for the site, but Sviat has managed to not be spotted there. This is so well done from Sviat. He plays the position to perfection as he catches Boomich in the back. And now Na'Vi have got a 2v3 retake on their hands. They have the kits, which buys them a bit more time, but they need to get some pretty quick kills here. Simple on the edge of this smoke, looking for an option. Perfecto gets a kill elsewhere. Simple goes down, and it's Perfecto with just 24 health. He realizes he can't win this round. Once again, Na'Vi get the initial pistol round win, similar to Overpass, but then exactly the same as Overpass, they lose to the second round full spy. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. These are the type of rounds that Navi should be having an easier time on when they have those advantageous weapons. When they're up against these teams, you think, okay, they, this should be a relatively easy win for them. But no, Hard Legion, they keep coming through a force plays. They keep fighting right back into these games. And now it's Navi instead who are going to have to buy up what they can and see if they can salvage out this round with a scout, three deagles, and a CZ. Oh, straight along. The MP9 being the first weapon out is a very interesting choice. We've got the SG out from Rage as well, which we really have not seen much of since the nerf. I think Dust2 is one of the maps it. where, yeah, maybe you could you could get it to have some use on A long, for example. You, you kind of want to have the scope. That's where it can maybe be beneficial. So I think there's some positions where maybe it could still be used, but that slow rate of fire is pretty costly in some of the closer range fights. Krad has got to be careful. This double lineup might go against him. Oh, Flamey's just gone off the angle. Perfecto spotted and spammed down through the wall. Now Flamey is out in the open, and even though he gets one kill, he was always going to be traded by the rest of the Hard Legion squad who get the bomb down safely on the B site.
Parker, just so people know, I'm going to go ahead and say here to you on stream, they're saying game sounds a little bit low, but these people, they are spamming a lot, so I just want them oh, wow. to say it on stream, because obviously you can't do it on screen right now, so we will have to wait a, a few minutes to be able to turn it up a little bit. Yeah, I'd have to throw it to a, a little break screen for a second, which maybe... Once we do. get maybe a little bit of a, a weaker buy, perhaps we could have a bit of a chance of even going into the next round. We'll find a moment, but we do, we do acknowledge it, guys. Apologies. But yeah, three weapons being saved. Navi not able to do too much. They got a couple of kills. So again, keeping the damage on at least and giving themselves the chance now with these three saved over kind of, well, the MP9, the Scout and the Pistol. I was going to say weapons, but it was a little bit of a mixture of weapons. I wanted to specify a little bit more. It certainly gives them that opportunity overall, though no investment coming into this round from Navi. Oh, there's one smoke for Electronic. Help them out a little bit, maybe. You know, the other option, Dean, if the game sound is too quiet, is we could just whisper cast the entire time. I feel like that would be very creepy and very unsettling. And so I'm not going to do it. I'm, no, I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> it was worth a try. Simple with the scalp peeking down mid. He's spammed back and that nade almost lands, but Simple's already back to wait. So a good bit of damage done at the start of this round by the Hard Legion side. Boom, which has been spotted over at A long. And Na'Vi not able to get too much done early here. They were looking to see if they could maybe get an early advantage. It's not gone their way, and now Hard Legion will just slowly work for this mid control. Yeah, I don't know if they necessarily want to be pushing out in towards mid itself now. Just going to be working up on towards short. Being against those weaker weapons, especially, don't want to give too many close range angles and such. They flash in around short. They ensure that they're going to be clear up on this area and... Obviously now having themselves some good control. We're still a minute remaining, being able to position themselves up on short, given the opportunities really for them to, to do whatever they want at this point. But knowing that they're up against this much weaker investment, I think they will just try and commit quickly now off this. Keep the ranged battles, keep themselves in good positions with these AKs to, to really have the advantage over whoever they fight up against. And for the moment, obviously, it is just this Deagle on the ramp. He could get a bit of help maybe from long, but that's an MP9, so really not being the best weapon to try and come in and support with. So Electronic just needs to go huge on this Deagle. Let's get a, a shot off there. Does a small bit of damage on the Kinky. For now, at least, is continuing to run down some time and potentially allowing his teammates to set themselves up. Flamey should be spotted, though. Yeah, a little bit of a one-way under the smoke. Well, Electronic gets one kill at the ramp, at the very least, but the rest of Hard Legion were ready to run him down. And I think Simple is also in trouble here. Gun barrel spotted. Kill claimed by Forrester. And Boomich at the end might be able to take a 1v1 fight, but it's not going to be the best one for him. And Krag gets the final kill there. 3-1 for Hard Legion. And I'm going to quickly throw it to a break screen while I get this game sound sorted. Give me a second. Lage keeps asking me if now we win this, will they win the group? Oh, okay, Lage, we are back. You, you know what? We are, we are fully back now, are we? We are back on stream. Okay, awesome. The volume we should are... be good. Just letting well, you know, dude. I, I wasn't even sure if you took our mics off stream because, again, I was, I was listening to the stream itself for a moment. Rage, okay. I don't know how he got that trade while completely blinded right there. Unfortunately, he did lose a teammate just beforehand. But I think Hard Legion are pretty happy with this one for one over towards Long in the beginning because they get themselves to control. They force Navi back off. Hard Legion, surprisingly, aren't going to capitalize on it. But Navi, for the moment, don't know that. So they're going to be trying to challenge short as well. So if Hard Legion can win out these fights, they have a big opening on towards that bomb site. And Simple actually dropped down. I don't know if he intended to do that. It makes it uncomfortable on the hold, having to play from CT spawn. He's not too happy with that, and he's going to give up the bomb site. So it's retake time for Na'Vi without the kit currently in hand. I didn't see if they even had a kit at the start of this round, which could be a problem for them here with Hard Legion already getting into position for the post plant. There's also a Molotov for Hard Legion, which could be pretty costly. And another smoke for short. That's going to slow Na'Vi down considerably. They either have to go through this smoke or just save. And there we go. The save call has been made. Okay. It makes sense. No kit. Barely any nades as well. And obviously the bomb at this point is taken away way too quickly for it to even be possible. Simple is trying to see if he can maybe catch a couple of them as they back away. And there we go. Manages to find Kinky. Rage is going to be stuck on the bomb site because of that as well. So a bit of extra damage being dealt out with two more players in the end fallen. So some reinvestment certainly happened to come through. But Hard Legion, they're just happy that they're currently sitting up 4-1. to one. They're up by a map already. Navi are struggling here to kick off Dust 2. Similar to what we see in back on Overpass where they won the pistol. And, and then kind of from that point on, at least for quite a while, Hard Legion just had full control. It's not as bad yet. It is only 4-1. And they are able to buy back up with the weapons being saved over.
Ooh, battle for A-Long will commence at the start of this round. Electronic instantly taken out of the equation. And the Molotov gets the kill onto Boomich as well. Two-man lead from Hard Legion on the A-Long fights. And Flamey's thinking of just going for a play through this smoke at this point. Considering they're down in a 3v5, Na'Vi realize they need to do something to get back into this round. Simple holding from Car. They haven't cleared this. Flashbang lands. Simple. Oh, he might get some kills. He gets the first frag for free. But now he's trapped at Car, And there's the push. Sviat comes in from the other angle. Flank is good. So Na'Vi get themselves at least somewhat of a chance here. But Hard Legion are crossing to this A site. Yeah, Flamey only having the FAMAS though up close, Perfecto in the spawn was even being spammed away on before Crad peeked in above the smoke, so he couldn't really do anything being stuck in position and taking damage. And Hard Legion again, up 5-1, to one. that time we mentioned Navi had saved over some weapons that allowed them to buy in again. This time that is not going to be the case. They are looking at two players there being Simple and Electronic who don't have quite enough to buy, so maybe we can see a, a half investment. They obviously have full loss bonus going at this point. I believe they most likely will be focused on the full gun round in the following. They're definitely having a chat, so who knows? They'll they'll come to whatever conclusion in a moment, but I, I'm presuming that they aren't going to go quite for the full investment. They can have a chance here again to get a few kills. One thing they have been successful at is keeping the economy for Hard Legion modest, at least on most of the players. You see Forrester and Crad are kind of in a position where their economy is bolstered up massively. Other than that, though, if Navi can get a few kills in this round, if they can force the reinvestment once again, they're still in a good spot where they could break that economy after just a couple of round wins. Yeah, just a moment to breathe here for Navi, to realize that it's only 5-1. It, it may feel like a, a poor start, but we saw them nearly overcome that over on overpass. So here on Dust2, I'm sure they'll be aware that they can absolutely come back here in this CT side. Not as much early aggression this time around from Hard Legion. In that previous round, they got a very, very early two-man advantage on the battle for A-Long. This time, though, with Na'Vi just having the pistols, they are sitting back pretty safely. And Hard Legion are respecting that for the time being, not going too aggressive at the start of this round. Simple currently fighting for short. It's definitely a position where you can do some damage with the Deeg. The boost coming in from Hard Legion was almost well-timed, but they might not be aware Simple's here now because they just boosted to clear this angle. So Simple could have the chance, but he's not going to get that kill quickly enough. Doesn't land the shot, and now Na'Vi will smoke off this position, and still no real damage done in this round. Yeah, I mean, kind of expected for Hard Legion being on the much stronger investment they don't want to force the issue and give these pistols up close any opportunities to snatch away a rifle but they do obviously have to make that push happen eventually being on the side when they eventually do so there is only 35 seconds remaining Flamey is able to get at least one there on mid and also connected some good damage that could help out perfecto who's rocking the scout on the back of the platform but being alone that is such a difficult spot to be in fires off one shot unfortunately not able to connect it just gets completely swarmed and as the bomb gets planted on B, the rest of the players really do have no hope of being able to make this round happen for Navi. Having Kevlar on two of them, especially with neither of them having taken any damage, they can just go ahead and save, get an easy upgrade to the helmet if they want to get that in the next round, and of course just buy up a, a little bit better than they would be able to do so otherwise. But considering they have that full loss bonus, and as I had pointed out, knowing the economy of Hard Legion for a couple of players is still low, they do want to stick around, and there's even an AK for Electronic. Two more players exiting through mid that they could manage to take down, potentially, including the Op of Rage. Ooh, missed shot from Rage. That could be costly. Sviat gets another kill at the end here, and Boomich tapping away, takes one of his own, oh. takes two. The AWP is recovered, but it's not going to be saved. Sviat gets the trade frag. So at least denying the guns from being saved, but a good bit of damage at the end there from Na'Vi. And yeah, that is one of the issues with the B site from the T side, is that you can only exit through either tunnels or mid. So it's much easier for the CTs to try and predict your position, try and play for those exit kills. And that means that Hard Legion's economy is at least somewhat called into check. It's at least somewhat brought back in this round, but they're still good on the money. They've still got a fair bit of cash in the bank. And again, they say long battle coming into play. Flamey forced off the angle. 
just straight out off of the spawn. Frad is ballsy. He didn't actually look to fight it. Instead, just the flash up to give him the chance to cross over the pit. And obviously, once you get a player into the pit, then you can kind of just leave him there. He can control the area. Wait then if you want the rest of your teammates to move back and get short control. Forest split towards that A-bomb site. And with a few of the players looking for the short control, it looks like that may be the goal again. Though Nabi willing to go a little bit more aggressive. It's Electronic who goes up around the corner. Unfortunately, Sfiat. He was a little bit further back, so the flash it did not affect him. He does pop straight out for the trade, but taken quite low. And with Kinky also burning down a small bit, Navi, they have found themselves a little bit of a health advantage. The big issue, though, being they've lost both long and short now, so they're pincered in on this bomb site. Ooh, I think Flamey would have spotted that player in pit there briefly. Continues to play from Carr, where he doesn't have uh, the best position or the best assistance from Boomich, who... Is currently having to watch mid as well. This is a, an uncomfortable hold right now for Na'Vi on this A side of the map. I think Flamey would really have to step up to lock this one down. As Boomich is just now repositioning. Oh, Crad's in position though. Crad could have this angle. Easy headshot for Crad. And now flamey has got the weight of the A-bomb site on his shoulders. He has to try and do what he can to hold this one down. But in comes the flank. So well timed from Kinky. Just as Flamey looks for the fight, he gets shot in the back. And Na'Vi have got nothing left to do here. Surely this has to be a save. Again, unfortunately, I believe it does. With the full loss bonus, drops again, sure, they can come in. Maybe one player will be left on a little bit of a weaker weapon, but just really the main worry... Nah, they won't even have weaker weapons because of those three having 750. They could scrape together guns themselves, but the main worry is they're about to get on 7-1. Hard Legion are somehow just looking fantastic here on Dust2. I didn't expect this. I was like, okay, uh, Overpass was their map choice. It's a little bit less surprising. Dust2, though, I was like, yeah, the individuals for Navi, they should be coming true on it. Not so far. Not at all. Hard Legion, every single player they have is looking fantastic. It's Fiat and Crad right now who are performing. Obviously, on the previous map, you had Forrester and Crad, which is going absolutely off. Hardly can certainly impress him. They took down VP the last day that I was able to catch them over on uh, the, the B stream for Road to Rio. Before, that had been having, uh, I believe, a, a few tough games. So they've been mm. kind of improving their performance, certainly over these last couple of weeks, for sure. Yeah, the, the drops, I'd imagine, come in here with the money that they have available. Yeah, there we go. Already an M4 given over. So they'll get what they can. Actually, an MP9 and a FAMAS so they can get full nades. Yes, yeah, so, uh, something that's uh, strange about this group in, in in CIS here in Group B is that th the wins and losses are just all over the place for these teams. Because uh, Na'Vi were able to beat Prosto and Espada for their two wins. Whereas Hard Legion lost against both Prosto and Espada and instead beat the other two teams. They beat Vertus Pro and Cyman. So it, it really feels like all these teams are competing very, very close. Any game feels like it can go any way. And unfortunately for Na'Vi, they are the ones that are feeling the brunt of that right now. One of the top ranked teams in the world, 7-1 down here. If they don't end up making the playoffs, that will be a big, big story and a, a big, big blow to them. But maybe getting a bit ahead of ourselves. It's only 7-1. Na'Vi... On this full buy, looking to fight back into this round, but it's a B split from Hard Legion. Yeah, very quick one indeed. Simple did have a little bit of a gap above that smoke and the spawn, given a chance for him to contribute and taking a kill alongside some damage, but you still see those actual B defenders being taken down without a single frag from themselves. So it is going to be the three on three in the retake now towards that bomb site. Navi's, Navi have been saving a lot, of course, but. This time, they can't really afford to make that call once again. They will look to try and move forward as three. A few nades, an AK even being upgraded there onto for Boomich. So they do have the weaponry and such to move forward now. And indeed, they will be doing so. The flash is going over. There is a player up close to the door being Kinky. He gets one. The upper rage, I was going to say, had been blinded in behind that box. So it gave a chance for the CTs to move forward. But it doesn't matter. Krat is there to help. He gets a headshot, denies the retake, and denies any sort of hope in the round for Navi. A simple, I was going to say, is left save, and he's actually going to come in and take himself one more kill in the end. Dropping Crad. The, the economy really isn't going to be an issue for Hard Legion anytime soon, though, so I don't think they really care about that. Yeah, it's feeling fairly reminiscent of Overpass right now. An 8-1 lead for Hard Legion. I think on Overpass, they got out to a 9-1 lead before Na'Vi started to get back into the game and started to win some rounds. I think Dust2 in general, uh, most teams will see it as, as T-sided for the most part, but with Hard Legion already having eight rounds on the board, there's T-sided and then there's winning almost every single round. That is a different beast, really. And Navi are going to have to make sure that they can control that beast. Otherwise, 
Hard Legion could be running away with this game. Opening kill found by Crad, but Simple, in position with the AWP, is able to pick up the trade. Yeah, considering they're on the weaker weapons overall, that is a pretty good recovery, being able to trade out with the AWPer. Right now stacking up a little bit around mid, I do believe. Yeah, at least with the AWP there, two of them over then towards B. They have one player pushed up on short, so they, they kind of have the ability, I, I guess, to face around mid together. Electronic for now, though, is going to be kind of... Held off by those Molotovs. Actually, two Molotovs going down. They're trying to clear up close as much as they can. Not sure if maybe even it could be the pistols of course stacked around this position. So playing is safe. Molotovs every single square inch of this short area right now. Yeah, Electronic eventually did get back the way. He nearly had a chance to catch a kill though, to be fair. But in the end, forced back over towards long with 45 seconds left. It does seem like this is where Hard Legion are just going to commit. He is actually back onto the bomb site. He's going to need at least a couple kills here though to give his teammates a chance of making this a winnable round. Molotov won't land on the site just yet. In fact, oh, it's extinguished in midair. So Electronic can try and fight from the bomb site with the M4 in hand. Quick kill onto the first player. Goes back for more, but Forrester's able to find the trade. Flamey on the flank. Deeg's down two. And now Forrester has got three players against him here. Even getting the bomb down is unlikely, but the spray transfer, good onto both those players. And now it's into the 1v1. Perfecto with the P250 holds on for Na'Vi as they finally get that second round win they've been waiting for for such a long time. Yeah, but they need to keep that up. Obviously, we did see when they eventually bounced back on overpass after having lost nine rounds in a row. They were able to, of course, get four in a row, really recover it into a, an okay position, at least on the half. Will they be able to do the same here now on Dust 2 is the question. One positive being that the money is not as nearly out of control as it was back on overpass for Hard Legion. Win this one and into the next round even, you would see a couple players for Hard Legion struggling to get that full buy out. But Rage, off that long spawn, peeks in. Boomich coming through with his peak a little bit late off the back of a flash, I believe, from a teammate. But it didn't work out. The Ops able to snatch a, an advantage now in favor of Hard Legion. And you can see Simple realizing that he needs to try and find something back for the mirror early on into the round as well, potentially. Flamey peeking in towards middle is going to be caught. That flash didn't blind up anyone, apparently. Cheeky having an easy time. And now it's a 5 on 3. They're just setting themselves up to split in towards B, where it's going to be all on Perfecto with absolutely no nades, Hawker. Yeah, it's all about the aim, the positioning for Perfecto holding this B site right now. Electronic is sitting behind the CT smoke. If that fades at the right time, he can maybe help his teammate out. But Kinky's already coming in through the door. Perfecto's been spotted, trapped at car. He gets one kill, gets a second. The Tech 9 eventually runs him down, and the rotate has also been denied. Electronic, who just arrived at the doors, goes down. If there's anyone who could win this, it would be simple. But as he goes through the smoke, Sviat's ready for it. 9-2 lead for Hard Legion. The economy called into question again for Na'Vi. This is really starting to get scary now, Dean. Very. I mean, we need, we need to have a look at him in a moment because we have kind of all the scenarios there. We weren't really expecting Hired Legion to be taking a 2-0, and, and that is definitely going to flip things up a little bit. If Hired Legion get their victory, I believe that they do make it through pretty much no matter what. I have all the scenarios here. I sent them over to you as well. It, it still gets mm. confusing. Trust me, guys, even if you have them in front of you, it's still a little bit awkward to follow them all. But it's easy enough here in this one. Thankfully, it is mostly just if you win, you're going to be making it true. But there's a, a, a small a couple small exceptions, at least in terms of seeding for Hard Legion. It's not that tactical pause. This is the second tactical pause from Navi. I don't think we've really seen them call one until very late on in the first map. Yeah, I wonder what the uh, comms are like in the Navi camp right now. I don't think I'd like to be on that TeamSpeak server. Well, I hope helpful at the moment because they're in the middle of a, a, a tactical pause. So I'd imagine that's where they're having a discussion about how they need to switch things up. Again, though, the problem being is they call it just before one of these investments where all they can really afford is pistols. So you, you don't expect a lot to come of this one. Knowing that they're up against the weaker buyer, or expecting, I guess, that they're up against a bit of a weaker investment. You just have Hired Legion going straight for the long control force. They're having an easy time tapping away on the heads. Rage wants to be careful there, doesn't want to risk losing the op up, but the molly down with a teammate nearby, they're just trying to see really where they can pressure on the map. They were peeking everywhere in the beginning of this round. It's just shown the confidence from Hired Legion. What was going on there? Ooh, perfecto. Ooh. Speaking of, it's just landed two headshots. So maybe this round is still doable. Oh, Simple's a dead man. He is a dead man. 
Kinky surely is going to win this fight. There's the headshot. And Perfecto has got to land some more incredible deeg shots, which he did do earlier. He's also snuck into this position. Sadly, Kinky's aware of it. Clears the angle. Some nice shots from Perfecto, but they don't lead to anything in the long run. 10-2 now for Hard Legion. And really, I think at this point, Na'Vi kind of need to win this gun round because they're going to want at least four or five rounds from this CT side. So here we go, Na'Vi. This is your time to step up. This is the time they need to step up indeed. The double up setup coming back out, that was kind of the adjustment that they made for Flamey on overpass as well when he was having a little bit of a tough game. And so far, being a little bit of a slow starter here too, but you can't really put that on anyone from Navi. No one is stepping up as you would expect. We're having reliable performances from all the hard Legion players and they already have a 10 to two lead right now. Decent nade though, thrown in towards lower tunnels. There's gonna be a boost for the op as well, following it up, but they didn't expect actually Crad to be boosted up instead on his teammates' head, spotting those players and been able to deal out a small bit of dam damage. Nothing incredibly substantial by any means, but it does kind of warn off that short aggression. Plenty of time for Hard Legion, so they won't feel rushed in this one with over a minute left on the clock. Crad throwing this Lurk Smoke at B. This is a pretty big risk he's taking here, but Crad has been a risk taker throughout this series, and Flamey at the back of the bombsite's been spotted. If he goes up again, Crad could get this headshot. He's tapping away, but he misses both times. That smoke is going to fade shortly, so Crad realizes he's got to get the hell out of there. Otherwise, he's going to be very, very vulnerable, very, very open and exposed. So Crad, again, the confidence you were saying earlier, it's really showing through. The fact that Crad is confident enough to try and make a play like that is pretty impressive. Now they do need to move on to a bomb site. Time is certainly Ooh, becoming a they limit. They the bomb factor. as well. The bomb is still at the top of mid. Yeah, that's what's worrying me right now. They realize and send Rage back up for it, but they need to find these openings quickly so that they can actually quickly route that bomb site then over uh, the bomb over towards one of the bomb sites as well. They really can't fight any sort of resistance or at least prolonged resistance from these CTs. You do see Electronic already being able to find himself one on that CT lurker, but, but Perfecto rather trapped in the back of the bomb site. Still found one, but it was flamey. Over on the platform, just coming through with three on the AWP, going absolutely massive. And given Navi that third round, but they need the final two as well if they want to feel like they have salvaged this one at all, if we are being honest. Obviously, they're still going to be going up against a full buy here from Hard Legion, but if they get this one, surprisingly going into the final round of the half, they will have actually ran that economy down completely for Hard Legion. Yeah, and it's not like that round win was off the back of Na'Vi doing uh, anything really impressive. I feel like it was more Hard Legion just kind of running out of time and having to Hail Mary it onto the B site. And yeah, Flamey landed some nice shots. Got to give him credit. But at the start of this round, Sphere only able to get one kill for Hard Legion on the short aggression. Na'Vi have started stacking a couple of players on short in these rounds. Electronic this time fighting for it alongside Boomich. He gets two kills. He gets his team the early advantage. And Simple blinded off that angle. He's unable to land the shot. The smoke goes in, but Electronic takes the fight. And now Rage is looking for the trade, but it's not coming his way. The nade's about to land on him as well. A bit more damage done. And Na'Vi looking good in this one. Crowd has creeped out mid, but Na'Vi are kind of okay with that, with the style that they're playing at the moment. They just have Perfecto spotted from the door, ready to drop a smoke if needed. At that point, of course, would limit kind of the would limit the angles that those T's could actually come through if they do move up mid, which is the goal. The flash being thrown over, not going to make it incredibly difficult for the CTs to read, but they don't know if they actually are working off the back of it currently. It's just rage, waiting to see if any opportunities will arise. And there we go. Eventually, spots that player jumping across the door. Unfortunately, not connecting the shot. So as I said, that smoke then immediately being dropped. He had a Molotov as well to throw down on the window, which is just keeping these players trapped in on mid for now. It's letting those CTs all rotate over and set themselves up. They even have a top mid flank. So right at this point, Hard Legion, they are forced to just go ahead and commit into this, and it is not going to be easy. Perfecto already getting one. Rage on the off now having to take down two as he moves in through the window somehow, and that's pretty much impossible, especially with the flank from Simple. There we go. Some signs of life from Na'Vi as they win a couple of rounds, and they may be able to take away this fifth round at the end of the half here, because Hard Legion's buy their economy isn't ideal. Only the one AK right now for Kinky. The rest of the team have got either pistols or Galils. At least the nades are okay for Hard Legion, but this is definitely a chance for Na'Vi to keep this one somewhat close, at least as close as it could have been 
considering how bad the start was for Na'Vi. 10-5 is not going to be ideal, but it's going to be savable for Na'Vi at the very least. Flamey looking for this fight in mid, which he is not getting given at the start of this round. And with Hard Legion running down the clock in some of these previous rounds, maybe they're going to up the pace in this one. They're all grouping up on the B side of the map right now. Up straight towards the tunnels makes sense when you have these weaker buys it is kind of the goal you see for a lot of teams they move over towards tunnels not going straight away on a, a rush or anything but it does seem like they will eventually move forward one player still on short one at the top of mid are they going to try and go in as three because they do already have a flash in the hands of crad being ready to actually be thrown over flamey maybe considering aggressing i hope not it looks like he will probably just stick on this angle for now which is handy he at that point will spot them once they start moving forward should be able to find one allowed then for his teammates to come in and help him actually he does peek back in for the second and so far here on dust two anyway flamey is looking a lot better with that awp he also hears that player up close in the smoke being spammed down low so there's really not much that crad can do they're left with just rage trying to creep forward and see if he can potentially pick off simple on a Unfortunately, even if he gets that kill, there's no way for the bomb to be brought back over because there's already a couple players around short and mid. Yeah, solid shots from Flamey in this round, and he's the man that... It's do or die time for Na'Vi here in this map. 10-5 down in a map they need to win to keep their playoff hopes alive here in the road to Rio. And this pistol round's going to be a pretty important piece of that puzzle, Dean, on this T side. Oh yeah, no, it is a necessity. They've already won all three pistols we've had so far in this series, so they need to keep that trend up. If, if they were to lose it, then I'm, I'm, I'm honestly at that point going to be very afraid for them. Obviously, so far they've been struggling with capitalizing on them. It was only on the second half of Overpass where they actually went out against the Force by in the second round. But for now, obviously, we need to focus back on this pistol. Kinky ended up in between multiple players there somehow. Okay, actually, Crad was hiding in the pit the entire time, so Simple didn't get to catch the out like I presumed he would. It looked like he was going to have a free kill. Forrester also setting himself up for a very quick flank on short. Gets the one, backs away as they try and hunt them down. And that is the perfect play. Look at the amount of damage they've done as well to those remaining players. Oh, Sviat continuing to look to line up these shots from the bomb site, but Boomich has been able to close the distance. Now Krad has got to try and do what he can, but Electronic gets the quick kill, and Forrester coming in from the back lines. His second kill on the board, but there are two more against him. Both players low, both without Kevlar. Jump shot not going to connect for Forrester. He's also not got the kit, but he's got the kill into the 1v1. Forrester looking to see if he can clutch this out against Boomich. He lands the shot. Forrester wins the clutch for Hard Legion. And they have been so impressive on an individual basis. This Hard Legion team have showed up here today. They are just crazy. Forrester, man, whenever it's needed, whenever he is needed to come up clutch, he seems to be able to do it. Getting himself a quad kill here in this. He had an ace and everything back on overpass. He has been going insane. And as we said, that is now actually the first pistol round that a hard legion have been able to win out so far in this series. Bomb plant at least went down for Navi, so we could see those rifles coming out, and that does look to be what they're going to go for with Flamey already buying up a Galil. But if this force buy doesn't work for, the, for them, at that point then they're looking at the eco, will be seeing a 13 to 5 lead for Hard Legion most likely, so this is a must win. Yeah, this is a big call here to go for this force buy. They could have saved and just got the AKs into the next. It would have, it would have conceded the 12th round, but it, it would have at least ensured they got the AKs out quickly, but... They're happy with the Galils. They're happy with the Tech 9 and the Deeg. And Electronic is the man who takes the early damage in this round. That was over near the mid doors. Simple's going back to mid, but Krad has pushed in long at just the right time to take control of this position. Simple was here just a few seconds ago, but Krad has got himself into this corner. And this could be difficult to clear for Na'Vi, but they look aware of the possibility at least. You should always be a little bit cautious, at least as you come around this corner. The issue is not having a Molotov or anything to flush him out. It will be about maybe a flash going in, perhaps just peeking in off the contact. It's a little bit risky. Yeah, Rage on the scale peeks through. I don't know if maybe now the fact that a player has shown themselves back a little bit further, whether that'll make Navi think, okay, there's probably not someone in the longhouse, or if they'll be like, okay, he was probably trying to bait for someone. So the question is now, are they expecting this or not? They've actually rotated Spiat in instead, so they have the Famaser to help out Grad. He had the ability to catch one off guard, but ends up getting wrecked by the Tech 9. And then Flamey comes in with the Galil to get one. It's still being fought back for her 
by the boys over on Hard Legion, but Navi have done a good job trading this down to the three on three. And Kinky now, as he rotates in, as he loses his teammate over towards Long, he's in a lot of trouble. And as you can see, again, it's left on Forrester to try and clutch it out. He has a nade. He does have a kit as well, and he's sitting pretty healthy there with that M4, so you can't count them out. But Navi, they managed to get themselves into a pretty good spot. That's not going to kill the planter, but it will do good damage. Flamey to 44, but no. As he peeks up Perfecto, there to cover his teammate, gets dinked down. But is able to get the kill before it's too big of an issue. Navi, they come through with the force by they're able to get a bit of revenge for how we've seen Hard Legion so far actually been able to come out with those force buys after dropping the pistols previously. Yeah, big round win for Navi. They are being pushed to the limit in this game, but they step up in that round. I feel like Crad will be kicking himself for not getting that first kill. If he'd have just got the clean headshot, it would have been an easy frag to find. But he gives the opponent the chance to react with the pistol up close. He loses the fight at long doors. And now Hard Legion have got a pretty poor buy into this round. Even with what is basically a full investment, they've got very little to show for it. So this is absolutely Na'Vi's chance to try and reestablish themselves here on Dust 2. Get a couple of rounds on the board get themselves a bit more comfortable as long as they do go on to win this round. Yeah, and on paper, they definitely should be. They've got a pretty safe buy with mostly rifles as well. Just the one SMG and then a scout for simple. Already having some good map control around short, at least early on. So, yeah, in a pretty, a pretty decent spot, especially for themselves. Rage, kind of similar to what we've seen from him back on the first half when they went for that force buy. He doesn't spend everything just because they know that when they can get the up in his hands. He can be very, very impactful. Slower start to this game from him so far, but now that he's on the CT side, once he does get it going, that's when I'll begin to be a little bit worried about what he can do with it. Pushing towards Edo. Already a little bit of damage done on towards Flamey. Unfortunately for Rage, he is not able to really do too much with, with just the 5-7, as they were already swarming the bomb site. Flamey, though, caught in the spawn. Yeah, that's a big issue. That's an AK now that's just been given over to Hard Legion. They're going to go ahead and grab that, I would imagine, save it. Gives them a rifle into this next round that they wouldn't have had otherwise. And if they can even bring the other players over with their pistols and Kevlar as well. It still gives them a good chance to make this next round competitive. Although they might stick around to see if they can maybe take even some more weapons from Navi. Oh, that was a nice shot. It's only a Mac 10 but either way, another player going down. And with that, I guess, kind of warning Navi from exiting True Short. Warning them away and sending them over towards Long instead. Where they should be secure. Yeah, keeping competitive though, Hard Legion, with a couple of kills and the saved guns. Gives them a chance to do even more damage in this next round. Again, at least Na'Vi are now getting round wins on the board. They've also been able to get the AWP into the hands of Simple very early into this T side. Even though they're not against the buy in this round, they've got the AWP into his hands. So that's a good sign. Let's see what Hard Legion decide to do on this round. Only one player going over to B right now. Crad with the AK has been boosted up on short, and that double nade stack doesn't do too much damage. The nades land a bit short of Simple's position, so he's only down to 58 health. Considering the weapons he's up against, though, that is still fairly substantial. It certainly could help out. Oh, the spam into the smoke. I'm not sure if Crad was spotted or if they just went for that because it is kind of a, a thing that can happen knowing that they're up against one rifle and everyone else just being on pistols thinking that he might have went for it. Sviato, as they move out towards Long, has Ooh. actually been the one to find the opening kill. Flamey goes down. Forrester's even running in behind through the spawn right now. A scout in his hands, though, is not ideal. Sure, he hits the shot, but it's not going to be enough for the kill. And it does seem like Navi now beginning to recover this control around long as well. But look at this from Crad. He's creeped up mid. Boomblitz uh, Boom coming back out has no idea. He's going to be able to back away just before Simple can come in to try and actually return as well. So a three on three. Yet again, Hard Legion doing a decent amount here with this weaker investment. That was a wild peek. I think that was Rage there back on short. Trying to bait out a little bit to let Crad see if he can find a little bit more with that AK. In the end, the Knight it will eventually fall back away and manage to make it securely over towards short. Now, Navi with just under 40 seconds left, the only real area of the map that they do control is around long. So you would imagine that they do commit towards the A-bomb site. That's the same idea Hard, Le Hard Legion have had. So they've gone ahead and just stacked it up. They do have a couple of smokes, at least, if they want to use those for the cross. But they're actually just going to go for the flashes onto the bomb site. Kinky fully blinded. Crad also blinded, but he's on the bomb site trying to lock this down. He had the chance to try and get multiple kills, but the quick trade found by Simple... 
Navi makes sure to hold on to that round win. But again, Hard Legion keep making them uncomfortable. We're continuing to see this aggression from Hard Legion in some of these CT rounds where they really throw a spanner into the works and just make life difficult for Na'Vi, which is exactly what you want to do in, in those sorts of rounds where you have the weaker buys anyway. Just make Na'Vi uncomfortable. Make it a weird round. Maybe you can get away with it. Unfortunately, not the round win, but keeping it close as Hard Legion's lead is slowly but surely being cut into here. Only a three-round margin now, but they finally got the guns in their hands. Yeah, we did see the same back on overpass as well, where obviously they went up 9-1, and then in the end it did only go 16-14 in their favor. Ideally, they don't want to be letting it get that close again, especially here on Dust2, which is a map, as we pointed out, Navi do overall feel more comfortable on. Uh, comfortable on. Words, they are hard, apparently. But for now, Navi taking their time. Again, finding that short control early on this time, not really looking to challenge over towards long, because they did struggle in that previous one up against the pistols. Instead, just keeping it a little bit more default. And even then, from Hard Legion, we're not really seeing anything crazy. Just putting the one player up close over towards the long doors, and then also having the two players, I believe, just playing around the bomb site. Not having an op, though. That's the small issue. Instead, it is an AUG that's going to be entrusted with this slightly longer range angle. Not a weapon you see being pulled out quite as often anymore, but if there is any man to do it, it's Rage. He still uses the Krieg as well, as we see in back on that first half. And I think without the AWP available for the CT side here, that they're feeling like they have to fight for the A site. They're feeling like they can't have that AWP just holding long and watching for the cross to the bomb site. So they've got a fair few players committed to A, and that might leave B a bit vulnerable. Only two players here committed to the B bomb site, and Kinky tries to take a risk going through the smoke. That's not panned out for him, and it's a flurry of frags for Na'Vi. All the kills they need onto the B bomb site. This round is done and dusted, and it's all about whether or not Hard Legion can save at this point. Yes, yeah, he's been hunted by a couple players, manages to get himself to first. He does also have a teammate over on long, so I was going to say once the peak comes in, Rage should be ready to give him the help that he needs, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. He wasn't really given an opportunity to do anything about it, so instead now Rage is just left over on long, and there's not much money for Navi, so I don't know how heavily they really want to be hunting this, but obviously they know that if they were to take that weapon out of his hands right now, then it's going to severely limit his buy in the next round for them. If they get 2,900, they'll all be looking at maybe just some pistols and potentially Kevlar. But you wouldn't be expecting a lot to come out in this next round from Hired Legion, even if the AUG is saved over. But there we go. Simple going to make his way out long. The first kill is found for Rage, but not ready for Perfecto, who had already closed in the distance down long. who has been a little bit more quiet about it. 11 to 9, two rounds now in the difference. Of Na as Navi have done a good job being able to actually pull back four rounds in a row here. And likely a fifth off the back of that one, as we pointed out, with only pistols in this one. Yeah, I think Hard Legion here will especially want to make sure they save for some orps now. At least one orp on their CT side. Dust 2 is a map where having the sniper is very, very valuable on the CT side. I think holding the A site with the orp maybe gives you some more options of not having to commit so many players to holding A. Maybe you can have a faster rotate, which was kind of the issue in that round as they lost B so quickly. Nice flashes here from Electronic, by the way, getting some flash assists on both these frags. And it looks like this time around, the pistols from Hard Legion won't be quite as costly for Na'Vi. That's what they need as well. They want to build up a little bit of a buffer with that economy for if they do end up having a bit more trouble if they end up losing a round or two. And this is the round that they, they are actually going to be doing it in. I highly doubt Rage finds anything now with a USP. He's pushed all the way up mid, so he's trying to maybe see if there was anyone lurking around a little bit further back again. It does actually get the upgrade to the Deagle at least, but he doesn't really care about saving this, I wouldn't imagine. He'll probably stick around and see if anyone's going to come in this direction towards the end of it. But he'll have a while to chill. Rage is the AWPer of the Hard Legion team, so... Yeah, could be a nice save. Yeah, sure. maybe having a secondary pistol is worth his while. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, apparently not. Denied by Electronic. Okay. I don't think he cares too much. He, with the full loss bonus as well, he's about 6,400. He probably won't buy up a pistol just because you'd prioritize the nades behind the off most likely. But I don't think he's going to be too worried mm. about, about that for himself. He does have the off. That's the main weapon. They have the full investment again coming back out on Hired Legion. But ideally, they need to win this one. Otherwise, Navi are likely going to be reclaiming the lead for themselves here on Dust2. And at that point, then, you do really become worried for Hard Legion. When, once they lose the lead on a map like Dust2, once the momentum gets going for a, a team like Navi as well, it can be very difficult to stop. And 
We only seen it really being scraped out in the end of overpass for Hard Legion. Quick mid aggression from Navi in this round, taking control of short where Sviat is waiting for them. Smoking hand right now. He's got to be careful. They're closing the distance, and Rage has got a flashbang being lined up from behind. If this is on point, this could be huge. Sviat about to round the corner. Doesn't really spot the players, and he's playing it very safe there. But Rage is the man who lands the shot to start this round. That AWP finally coming into play for Hard Legion, and it has instant impact in this round. Yeah, Electronic being the man who's gone early on. I would say one of the, the top performers for Navi, but everyone at the moment for them is contributing on a, a fairly equal basis. You definitely can't count them out of being able to recover this one. A little bit of pressure on towards mid. The issue is Kinky smoked it off himself, so he should be able to notice that no one's actually pushed out off the back of it. But it did, for a moment, pull Sviat down into the CT spawn and reposition him. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult now for him to help out, especially with those smokes going down. You can see that one on the box, of course, stops him from really being able to see the heads as they cross over. So instead, it is going to be the off of Rage that needs to find a bit more as they move on towards the bomb site, playing around the smoke. Unfortunately, not able to really react in time. Wasn't scoped in. Boomich just peeks through with a flash from Perfecto, who actually himself gets blinded. Has a little bit of revenge there over on short. So a good recovery from Kinky. And they do now have the man advantage working in towards this retake. The issue is only the one kit nades wise. Just a few flashes remaining at this point. But they do have the T's trapped in around the bomb site. So they're feeling forced to take the fights. Flamey already getting one. Boomich peeks towards long and regains the control. Suddenly it's all on Forrester. I was going to say and Kinky, but he was gone before I could finish the sentence. And yeah, Forrester realizing that with his teammate gone, he needs to be gone too. But he wants to do so staying alive. So he retreats with that AK to carry it over. But Navi, they've done it. They've tied up the scoreline now at 11-11. Yeah, it was almost like Navi there in the 3v4 from the site. They were the ones that were kind of taking initiative and, and taking the fight to their opponents. And I don't think Hard Legion were expecting that push to come in at A long. That was a, a really well-played round by Navi. Good decision to go for that push at long. They were hoping that the AWP could lock down the A-bomb site. That's what they were relying on on the Hard Legion side of things. But once those nades came into play, once Na'Vi closed the distance, Boomich just went flying around the corner. Rage couldn't land the close range shot. Maybe that was the sort of range where a pistol could have been useful for him, but he didn't have it. He had to go with the AWP. And unfortunately for Hard Legion, this is now an even scoreline. Na'Vi getting themselves back into it here on Dust 2. And Forrester has the saved AK, but other than that, it's pistols across the board for Hard Legion. Ooh. Ooh. That's a bit of a messed up Molotov from Electronic. It pins him in the corner. Thankfully, that is it. Not actually going to be doing any damage to him, so they're good. They have plenty of nades left as well. They know they're up against the weaker buy. It's just a small setback arc, and we don't have to worry... Or at least we hope we don't have to. There is a Deagle here for Rage that does want to take the fight on towards Tunnels. Feel this, being the soul, the actual soul B defender right now, though, it makes that quite risky. Because if he goes down, the bombsite is gone. Had Kinky Rotate up through the door as quick as he could to try and help out. But not going to be finding success there either. There was also Navi pressured out mid, being able to cut off the rotations. And with that note, the bomb is just going to be ran back around towards that B bombsite. The goal of the remaining players just being to... At this point, try and get a couple of kills and maybe steal away some weapons, but that isn't allowed either. There were still a few Navi players lurking around, not expected. Navi have gone ahead and claimed themselves the lead for what I believe is the first time now. Yeah, because they were down 8-1 at one point, so that is their first time to be able to actually get themselves into the lead. And Hard Legion, yeah, you, you've got to be worried now if you are Hard Legion. Yeah, Navi are really hitting their stride right now, and... If they're not careful on the Hard Legion side of things, they might not be able to catch Na'Vi. Flashes on long are really good. Sviat had to turn away, and he was still blinded. Another flash comes in. Fantastic flashbangs from Na'Vi to get the early advantage in this round. And Perfecto is flying up through short. They're not ready for this. Perfecto finally gets the kill. It's actually Flamey who had to help him out. But the outcome is the same. Na'Vi get all the kills onto this A bomb site, and a faster play from Na'Vi pays off for them. Yeah, just, I, I guess you've seen just the entire T side so far. Navi have warmed up. They've been hitting their shots. Kind of a reverse of what we had for Hard Legion, unfortunately, back on their T side, where now they've all kind of 
plateaued in terms of their, their individual performance. And the rounds here from Navi have been a lot more convincing than most of them were from Hard Legion back on their T side, if you're having a look. At least the, the last few, they've been living with 4, 5, 3, 5, and then 3 before that. So you can see, obviously, because of that, the economy is completely out of control for Navi. Hard Legion are not going to be having an easier round here if they actually want to make this comeback happen. Pretty much every single one of them, even if they start winning, is going to be a full gun round for Navi. And this one, at least, is only a scout and a few pistols. And Crad trying to peek up through mid actually gets dinked down through the corner of the door. So not the ideal start. He dealt out a small bit of damage himself. Nothing quite as substantial, though. Brings Simple down to 60. Hard Legion right now would really love a round win. It's not looking too likely for them, though, with this buy. Flash goes into short, but there's a smoke from the CTs, which will slow Na'Vi down. Not much utility left for Hard Legion now, though. Just a single flashbang in Sviat's back pocket. Rage holding this angle. A very tight angle, and... What?! How does he get that kill? Rage just spamming through the door. Actually finds the headshot. A little bit of luck, perhaps, but maybe that's what Hard Legion need to try and put up a fight in this round. Looking for more. This time he can actually see his opponents. Unfortunately, not being able to connect with the Deagle as of yet. It was actually a Forrester, I believe, there who was shooting them ones off. Rage had been in the spawn, but he moved back down for a moment. There's only now positioning himself to try and spot that short cross. And Electronic was already ready for it. So it's all on Crad. Two health. He was tagged up in the beginning of this round, of course. And actually did manage to get a shot off on Flamey. But not quite the kill. So despite the damage being done there onto a few of those remaining players, unfortunately, it's not really allowed to amount to anything. They weren't able to get any more kills off the back of it. And as we had already pointed out as well, Navi don't really have to worry about that economy for the rest of this game at this point. They have plenty of money and Hard Legion, they have probably just this one last attempt at a gun round. If this one doesn't go their way, they'll be working with a, a weaker investment, probably some FAMASs and such coming into the next one, unless they're able to save over weapons. So this one is pretty much do or die for them right now. If we see Navi managing to find this, it is very likely that we will be heading on to map number three. And I think another point worth mentioning here is that it's not just been simple carrying Na'Vi, kicking and screaming to victory. It's been the rest of the players also stepping up. Boomich has 20 kills. Perfecto has 17. Simple's been pretty much middle of the road for them. It's been a team effort here from Na'Vi, which is what we needed to see. Forrester here, though, locking down B. Huge damage done. Kinky eventually gets another kill through the smoke. This is a good start to the round for the Hard Legion, but with Boomich getting one kill back, they've got to be a bit careful. Crad's in spawn, though. Great position for Crab, but he only gets one kill. Boomich lands the long-range headshot, and Na'Vi keep themselves alive in this round, but Boomich somehow still alive on 13 health as they move into short. Yeah, perhaps he can still contribute a bit here alongside Simple. Manny, you said, hasn't had to carry them towards this finish line so far, but this would be a great time for him to step up. We know he's always capable of it. For the moment, it was actually just Rock and the Deagle. We'll eventually swap the op over towards Boomage. So now he's got the AK. That'll give them the, give them the ability to try and move forward, create a little bit more space for them to work with. For the moment, though, Hard Legion are playing this safe. They have the off back on the corner. That's Rage over on long. They have Forrester down in the spawn, who will eventually be able to find Boomage coming up through short. And... With a flash over, although it didn't blind up simple, it did give a little bit of room for them to back that second player towards the bomb site. Forster though does end up falling. The issue is for simple, he's trapped in between both of these players and he is completely aware of it. Somehow manages to get the bomb and move on towards the site and oh may even plant with that. He's been walled down walled down even lower though. And may not have heard that drop into the spawn either. No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, he's gotta be dead. Oh, miss shot. Yeah, that's gonna cost him. Kinky's already close range. Simple was in a really tough position there. To even get onto the bomb site was was pretty well done, but with that player close by that he was not aware of, he had no chance at the round. So Hard Legion finally get another round on the board. It's been a long time coming for them, but they get their 12th round win, and they will try and keep that going into this next one. Obviously, Na'Vi's money is absolutely fine. Boomich still has $16,000, so he'll be buying an AK. Simple's got the AWP. And uh, let's see if Hard Legion can continue to put up a fight in this next round as they stack four players onto the A side of the map. We could see some early battles here on A long. Looks like we will for sure. Electronic actually dropped the smoke before swinging back in for the fight. Kinky trying to cross over to the pick gets absolutely wrecked. 
with an instant headshot. And it seems like that's forced the rest of Pirate Legion to just give up this long control. Maybe thinking there was more than just a single player. Have they moved back to try and put anyone on short, though, is the question. It doesn't seem like it. No, they're going to take the gamble. They're going to stack up around mid. And for the moment, as the short control is being taken by Navi, they've set themselves up perfectly for this A split. You can see Hardly to moving back in as quickly as they can to try and put up a defense. They'll even attempt to boost the up, I believe. For now, though, that's not going to be the goal. Rage just chilling around on that angle. Gets destroyed by Flamey. And yeah, they should have this bomb. So they do have a smoke. Only one, though. So crossing the bomb over could be a little bit of an issue. They expect a flank from Crad, who has been just aggressive for this entire series so far. So you always need to be cautious of that. This, this really has to be the save. Yeah, well, one of them saving. And Seattle's. An yeah, he's oh. trying to get the op. Ah, oh, nah, that's a bit unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think he was trying to get the op to carry over just so that they could give that the rage in the next round or whoever really wanted to use it. And yeah, Navi, with so much money, they're not going to really stop trying to hunt down Forrester at all. He, he's going to need to run this time down and he might even have to try and fight for it as well. With Boomage getting fairly close with a player coming in through spawn as well. There is certainly a bit of time for them to try and retrieve this M4 and deny any weapons really in this final round, or potentially final round. Oh, there's one. Oh, and he should escape on the B now. Oh, oh maybe. Oh, so close. He just about survived. I was honestly worried that Simple was about to strafe around the corner and knife him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, a, that's what was worrying me a little bit, because that's an incredibly simple thing to do. Can you smell that, Dean? I smell an auto sniper. Flamey's picked it up here. They're so rich that they are going to be spamming the mid cross. We'll see if Hard Legion get across safely. Oh, wait. Where's the auto gone? They're not even using it. No, they're just they're just going to go four players in B tunnels. This might just be a quick B play to end this out. Boomich is running in through mid. But Molotov has slowed them down. But with all the Na'Vi players grouped up in B tunnels, you've got to feel like they're going to do something funky here. Yeah, Crad has been able to find one up close on that mid smoke as they pushed in. Forrester waiting up close on B as well. This is a risky play from Navi to just try and go straight through that B smoke. And Forrester makes them pay the price. Taking out three as they move forward. Even tagging up Simple through the smoke, I believe, as well. Down to 45 as Simple being left in a one <laughs> on five realizes his chances are pretty much zero. So he gets rid of that off. He's like, yeah, you're not having that next round. And, and that doesn't really cost them a lot because they have plenty to buy up in this next round either way. And then we'll still have enough <laughs> afterwards. He's even got the auto sniper back from the spawn now. Ah, this was the plan for the auto sniper the whole time. Simple's going to 1v5 with it instead. They were like, we'll try rush B. If it ends up in a one on five, just grab the auto and just, just do what you can. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, he's probably going to throw that away as well, I'd imagine. You don't want to give that to the CTs, but then again, it's, it's not quite as good as the op. I don't know if they're going to want to retrieve it themselves. Crowd, you may consider it. Nah, he's like, nah, I'll take the molly. That's fine. But I don't want the auto sniper. I think that's fair enough. Hard Legion sticking with the rifles. They can't afford the AWP though, sadly. So it is just the AKs, mostly, for the CT side. But yeah, really ballsy call from Na'Vi there to just go for a straight-up B play. You're basically relying on those flashbangs to be incredible. And because Forrester was close and doesn't get blinded, he just sprays away and gets three kills. And that's the round over and done with. Some early nades on long. Boomich had the spawn to try and take the peak with the AWP, but he's unable to land the shot early in the round. So he goes back to the AK that he's got at T-spawn. And it's just going to be simple sticking with the single AWP for Na'Vi, as you would expect. Yeah, I wouldn't really expect it to be given to anyone else unless it's really based on spawns. Flamey is the secondary oh, offer. He's, he's still going to be rocking this one back into spawn for a second. Yeah, he's going ahead and taking it just to see if, I guess, he could spam someone down on mid or something. But even then, he got rid of it instantly. He didn't really try and spot anyone. He just shot one bullet through the door, retrieved his AK, and... Has moved back now to join up with his teammates for whatever the plan is. For the moment, though, he is holding for that long aggression while they take short. Expecting maybe as they show so much pres presence on short that Hard Legion might react by pushing in through the long doors. Which wouldn't be too surprising. They've been quite aggressive overall. But for the last little while, while Navi have been controlling here on the T side, Hard Legion haven't been looking nearly as confident in their own play as Ooh. Forrester, though. Actually getting a chance on mid because Boomage blinded himself. Follows up at a second onto Electronic and suddenly it's a two-man advantage for Hard Legion. That long aggression eventually did come in, just as Flamey no longer expected it. There was only one man on the B site. If they smoked CT or if they got that kill, Na'Vi could have split B so easily here, but now it's gone against them. It's a 2v4 for Na'Vi to try and overcome. 
There is a player behind the doors. That smoke is a bit awkward as well. It's a bit out in the open. So it's something they've got to be aware of. Simple and Perfecto have won rounds between them previously. A 2v4 to try and win this time. Oh, the flash is so good. What? Simple lands the no scope, but he's not going to get the second chance. Perfecto with three players. First kill found. He's trapped in the corner. Perfecto, only two health left. Surely he can't win this. AK in hand. He looks for the kill, but Sviat is able to hunt him down. And Hard Legion take us to round 30. This series is giving us some very close maps already, Dean. Yeah, this has been fantastic so far. It ended up going 16-14 to Hard Legion back on the first map of Overpass. Right now it's 15-14. It's gone the full way, 30 rounds, maybe even more if Hard Legion can get this final one to send it into an overtime. But Navi, they still have money. They're looking to go ahead and close this out in regulation, of course. And this is their last chance to do so. They're not going to be lacking at all. As I said, plenty. Plenty. He should have a weapon yet. An AK just waiting on the ground for him. No crazy ops being afforded here just to be left in the spawn. Straight out on long though off of that spawn. A good nade came in actually doing quite a bit of damage. It is going to slow the T's down on their push. And Krat has an interest in smoke to try and play around. They believe though he has been spotted. At the very least they were spamming it. So Krat taken down low. Forced back off a little bit more passively now in the pit. But he also has teammates waiting around on this corner still. They're waiting for the contact to be found so that they can flash in and face this together. There's actually four players around here. Yeah. Krat's called upon the entire army to defend him it seems he's got so many bodyguards but can they keep him safe sviat gets a kill crag gets one it's back to a 3v3 on the trades and flamey gets a shot straight through that smoke he may have spotted sviat he may have heard him either way he's got the kill and navi have a 3v2 to try and close out this map yeah, with a minute remaining as well they do know at least one more of those players, I believe, are around on long. They did spot Rage, having fired off a shot a little while ago, but they don't really know if he could have moved back. They don't know exactly where the CT is their position, but they have seemed to have actually made the correct decision to bring this back over towards B. It's only really now that we're seeing the rotation coming in from Forrester, so he's probably not going to get in position unless he runs in right now. At the moment, though, not being sure if they could have already creeped out on the B. He is making what was probably the correct decision to not go in on his own. Actually, does eventually peek forward just to catch the timing on them as they move out of the tunnels. Rage has the ability to try and wall bag them as they cross, and that's good damage. It could help out this nade, but actually getting the kill, unfortunately, not lined up straight away. Will eventually oh. go in and okay on alongside the nade from Rage as well does get them the kill and now it's all on Flamey. Overtime is once again looking possible. Flamey needs to come up clutch, looking for that first kill. Has done the damage but was dinked down himself and eventually finished off by the pistol of Rage. There it is, and overtime is going to be needed. Oh, this game is as stressful as it could be right now for both of these teams. It ends 15-15 in regulation and like you said that only means one thing we're going to overtime here on dust 2 man it's it's never easy for navi apparently overtime it is here on their map pick and we have a quick pause here it looks like hard legion are having some technical Lost issues on team speak, yeah for the last two rounds, they've been having some issues with their team speak, apparently. So they've called the pause. That makes sense. They're coming into an overtime. You're in a very important game. You want to make sure everything is working for you. You don't want any any factors that you can, can't control actually making things harder than they should be. I wouldn't imagine it'll take them too long, though, to just maybe hop onto a new team speak server. Hopefully, they'll be good to go pretty quickly. It gives us a chance to, to kind of chill out a bit as well, because honestly, my heart was racing there in those last couple of rounds, especially a couple of rounds coming down to clutches that could have made all the difference. Flamey at the end there had opportunities in the 1v2. Well, it wasn't going to be easy, but he had the chance to try and clutch it. Hard Legion played it pretty well, though, especially those two nades that were both deployed onto the bomb site were really well placed to get that kill and to get them the advantage on the retake to begin with. It's, it's hard to really massively favor either team whenever you head into an overtime, it feels. Na'Vi are the ones who have come back into this game in the first place, though. And I think we're seeing enough from the Na'Vi players to suggest that I feel like they should be able to take this heading into overtime. Like, all the players have, have really showed up here. They've all been pretty good. But who okay. knows, man? Who knows? Hawker, I think I know what the issue is. I think your mic is a bit too loud, so when people okay. turn it up you then become too loud if they want to hear the ah. game sound so they can't put a full, well, do you get me? So yeah. maybe just turn yours down a tiny bit. Turn it down oh, a while bit. we have this moment, yeah, just while we have the moment and the pause. 
It has given us a little bit of time to react. Definitely wasn't as bad as it was before. There's people also saying technical. They they had tactical pauses. They could have just called tactical pauses if that's what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, did Hard Legion use a single tactical pause? I don't um, really remember. They might have used one or two, but they didn't use four anyway, so they still would have had some for sure. Oh, yeah. The admin has now said this is taking a little bit too long, though, so... Okay, no, he said that. He actually offered to give them a team speed because it's taking a little too long. So, I don't know. There's, there's people complaining about different sound issues, so we'll have to properly fix this between series and okay. Just because it's too difficult to do while we're casting, while you're also running I only have a small obviously. brain. I can't, I can't small handle small this. Brain. I think it's more so a limited amount of hands and eyes. Oh. I've got four eyes right. here, so... Sviat is up close on the door right now. He heard Electronic just kind of be hopping up onto the Xbox right there, so that should be a little bit of info for them to work with. But of course, guys, now that we're live into this overtime, we are about to have this action just kicking back off any moment. We had the little pause. I'm hoping that hasn't affected any of these guys. And as you said, Navi overall certainly kind of having the momentum in their favor. Neither team having to worry about the economy right now, though, so that is a positive. As we are seeing the initial short control going to be in the goal for Navi. It's still very early on in the round. They have been contested a little bit. So I don't think we're going to really see them making any crazy decisions off the back of that Molly slowing them down slightly. But they are beginning to group back up in tunnels with most of their players right now. I think it's also worth remembering that in regulation, both teams won 10 rounds on their T side. So you've got to think that they're going to favor their T side heading into overtime here. So if you can get maybe two CT rounds in this overtime, you are going to feel comfortable. That molly, I don't think it's going to spread. Oh, it does. It forces Crab through and Flamey hears it. Good pick at the start of this round. And with 35 seconds left on the clock, Navi is setting up this B split where there are plenty of Hard Legion players ready to hold. Oh, nicely timed Molly to slow down the mid players though, so that's a big issue. Let's them focus more on tunnels as they come out, and it's gonna be Forrester and Spiat just completely locking down B. And as the bomb drops, that is 14 seconds left for Flamey and Electronic to try and recover, which is just impossible to do without that bomb. Flamey's gone, Electronic is left alone, and at this point, really, I guess saving. I mean, they're in the overtimes, so we just need to, but he has no other option. He's gonna move in. If he could get the up off rage, that would have been nice, but he actually just goes down afterwards instead. You'll have enough money to rebuy, obviously, but if Navi lose this round, then they could be going into the final round of this first half of the overtime with a bit of a weaker investment. So this is a chance. Hard Legion, if they get this one, could, in theory, be getting themselves a flawless half of the overtime. And Navi realized that. They call in a pause saying, okay, we're going to be spending pretty much everything right now. We need to win this one. Yeah, they're very much aware that if they lose this round, their hopes of getting into the playoffs are going to be severely decreased. Their chances of making it through are not going to be anywhere near as high if they lose this round. There's a lot of pressure on Na'Vi here. And Hard Legion just getting that first CT round already. You could argue that just getting one CT round might be enough with how this played out in regulation, with both teams finding much more success on their T sides. Hard Legion have, have already got a good start here, and if they can get this next round as well, they would be in such a great spot. We'll see if Na'Vi let that happen, though. We're heading back underway. Simple still has the AWP. It's still a full buy for Na'Vi, but not with as much money in the bank as they would want. They cannot afford to lose this round. Not at all. I think we're going to see a bit of early aggression actually coming straight in towards mid. Boomich is moving down at the moment. Hard Legion with their setup, though, do have a good counter to it. As I say, that Molotov, yeah, that's going to force Kinky out of the corner, so he's back towards the spawn. That's just actually going to give them the room now to jump up again and try and work for that short control early on. You do want to be finding that then to make your decisions off of later in the round. Kinky did get spotted there as he peeked in, but a nicely timed flash and the wallbang not being connected, so not going to cost them anything for now. But yeah, good start again. Navi are able to at least get themselves the short control now, giving themselves a few options of what they can do throughout this round. But the question is now, what else are they going to be able to find? They want to try and at least get an opening before they have to move into a bomb site, Especially on B, they haven't been finding really much success back towards B at all. And I think they may have realized that themselves. Three players being grouped up outside of the long mm. house and yeah, they're going to be trying to set up this A split. That's the goal. Krad's alone on long right now. He does spot them fairly early, so it gives a bit of time to drop that smoke. And oh, they're done. They don't want to go through that. They're backing off now. Yeah, look at this switch in setups from Hard Legion, though. Remember last round, they had three players stacked on the B site, pretty much. This time, it is almost full focus on A. They're leaving Rage with the AWP to solo hold B, but the read might be exactly what they need. It's on point right now because Na'Vi look likely to commit to this A site where there are plenty of CTs again positioned to try and stop them. 
Oh, oh no. Molly. Oh though. no. Yeah, completely blinded on the bomb site as well. Oh. Yeah, is somehow still able to get a double kill from that. More being found, looking to try and drop simple. If he had the M4 still, oh, the maybe bomb's it would have been a little bit easier. But yeah, that's the issue. The bomb even dropping down and towards the spawn. Simple realizes a little bit of a mouse swing out of frustration as this round is done. And I mean, if, at least if they save the weapons, they'll have those to work with here in the following. But other than that, it's a little bit, a little bit shoddy. Boomich and Perfecto do have enough for the rifles, thankfully. There is going to be one player left on a weaker weapon. Electronic is going to be a little bit limited. And Navi, they're looking to try and salvage at least one round here for their T-side in the overtime. Otherwise, they are going to have to just have a flawless CT themselves just to force a second OT. And even if they get this one round, if they want to get the win here in the first overtime, they're still going to need to go ahead and get all the rounds on their CT side. Of course, that number that they are looking for is 19. So Hard Legion already halfway up there. Simple though, with the long spawn, it was a little bit late on it. And does get smoked off, unfortunately, before he can really do, uh, really do anything. We might need to go back and see how the hell Sviat gets away with those kills there. Because he was mollied out of the site into the open. He was on like one health as he went into the open there. And Na'Vi just couldn't land a shot on him apparently. He got those first two kills so quickly. Na'Vi not ready for that sort of hold on the A-bomb site. And it feels like Hard Legion are reading Na'Vi really well in these first two rounds. They stacked A previously. It worked out for them, but this time Boomich has got the opening kill for Na'Vi. That might be just what they needed. Rage having to back away, and Boomich with a second entry onto the A site. He's taking matters into his own hands here, as Na'Vi look good to get this round. Yeah, Boomich just said, screw this. I do not want to be losing this matchup. Just wrecks everyone towards A and has eventually given them the bomb site. That molly slowed it down a little bit. You only see an electronic initially pushing forward, but he secured control at least. Eventually that bomb does go over and get planted. And now it's a very, very difficult three on five retake for the, the remaining players here of Hard Legion. They're gonna have to try and work in together, regain the short control and then of course even at that point two players immediately on short with the ability to have health for more. Which came over didn't help out too much though. Perfecto has still had an easy time being able to find Forrester and yeah, I mean, there's not really a lot to be done here. There's going to need to be just some insane shots being connected. There's one from Rage. I could maybe let him move forward in the spawn, but then again, he still needs this player to deal with the short ones. Otherwise, he's moving up, trying to make it to the ramp. He would I just get peaked. It's last round. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know why they're not trying to go quicker here, but there you go. Navi take a 16th round, salvaging at least a single round from their T side. But based on regulation... Both teams had much more success on their T side. So now that Hard Legion have the lead heading into their T side of overtime, they might be liking their chances here. 17 at 16 though, still anyone's game. As we head back into this second half. Both teams have got to be feeling the pressure right now, especially because you know if you win this series, you go through. It's as simple as that. It all comes down to this series. And right now, Na'Vi are the ones on the back foot, trailing by one round as we head into this second half of overtime. A reminder though, Heart Legion on their T side was where they found the majority of their success to kick off this map. So I'm definitely not going to be, uh, be counting them out, especially as they sit up by one round. But Na'Vi, we said this is where their experience should in theory be shining true for them. Do we have... I, I looked like Perfecto was considering pushing up in towards tunnels just by the X-ray, but now nah, just holding up close on it. Nothing too crazy in the beginning of this round. This is the difference we see in between Navi on their CT side and Hard Legion as well. Navi, pretty much all of the time, we're having electronic aggressive around this area and just making it a bit more difficult for Hard Legion to find than it has been for Navi. They were always just kind of walking up for free. Right now, restricting that control and, yeah, forcing the T's over towards B. We still see the opening Ooh. still being found by Forrester, of course. This man is incredible so far in this matchup. And Sfia, he finds that rotation in true mid. Simple, he hopefully will be able to return this and give them the opening. But no, Sfia is just insane. Two quick headshots. Boomich up towards the top of mid, I believe, haven't been spotted as well. Left now in a one-on-three to deny map and serious point as Hard Legion. They pretty much confirmed it already. Oh, this is never a position that Na'Vi thought they'd have themselves in. They were never even meant to be here. They were meant to win this group comfortably. It shouldn't have had to come down to this last game, but now that it is, it's Hard Legion who have two chances to win this series, to book their spot in the playoffs here at the Road to Rio. This would be unbelievable if Na'Vi don't make it through. They have got to be feeling the pressure right now, but... 
They've got to step up under the pressure. Double orb set up out. Na'Vi can only focus on what's ahead of them. They have to play for a second overtime. And Flamey takes a bit of damage on the cross. Nothing too significant here, though, at the start of this round. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. It, it was the offer just crossing over. He's just going to be at the back of the platform with that off anyway. So hopefully it won't be too substantial in the outcome of the round. My heart Legion, as we said, only needing a single round at this point to actually go ahead and close it out here on those two. Close it out in this series 2-0, which I don't think anyone would have been expected. This has just been a crazy match between these two so far. Again, though, a little bit of a slower approach from Hard Legion on the T side. You can see even as they move towards short, they have to be really careful because, as I pointed out, Electronic has been aggressive around this position just so often, especially when you go back to the regulation. Not the case this time, though. The Molotov was put in just in case they do eventually clear out that area, but now with just under a minute remaining, they need to kind of make that decision about where they want to end it. And as they begin to focus around mid as well as having a player over towards tunnels, it would indicate that they probably will be going for that B split right now. There is two players there to hold it down, but there's no real rotations that are nearby to come in quickly. It's simple there, who's kind of entrusted with helping from long. The smoke makes it a bit more difficult. He still does some decent damage and will eventually manage to finish off Kinky. But Flamey trapped in the corner and Imperfecto on the back of the bomb site, not able to find anything either. Suddenly it's a three on three. The health does favor the CTs, but the time favors Hard Legion as they have that bomb planted. This is it. A 3v3 retake to keep Na'Vi in this tournament on the B-bomb site. The pressure is unbelievable right now. Boomich moving in, looking for this fight, but he's not ready. Krag gets the kill. Two more to find for Hard Legion to take victory, and Forrester finds another. It's all on Simple to be the savior of Na'Vi in this clutch, but the time is so far gone, and there it is.